Okay guys, so check this out. A Stockholm judge has reportedly ordered ASAP Rocky to remain in jail for roughly another week while prosecutors continue to investigate the alleged assault. TMZ reports the ruling was handed down on Friday, July 19th, and appears to signal that ASAP mob rapper will be indicted. Rocky's lawyer, Slobodan Javajic, says it's unjust to hold his client, although prosecutors deemed him a flight risk. Javajic says Rocky would never risk his career and flee due to his status as an international rap star. Javajic believes the most his client should get is probation considering there's video of the alleged victim attacking Rocky and his crew. Rocky also tried to de-escalate the situation. Representative Adriano Espiat says Swedish authorities are using KGB tactics by keeping Rocky locked up and thinks it's likely they will indict him. Authorities are expected to make the final decision next Thursday, July 25th. The testing architect was arrested on July 2nd and has already been behind bars for over two weeks. Several of his peers have started a Swedish boycott as a result. In other incarceration-related news, a jury has found 19-year-old rapper Tay K, real name Tamor McIntyre, guilty of lesser-included offense of murder. According to CBS Dallas Fort Worth, prosecutors argued in court on Friday, July 19th, that while he didn't pull the trigger that killed 21-year-old Ethan Walker, he knew the robbery would result in someone getting shot. Tay K pleaded guilty in two counts of aggravated robbery by threats in connection to the 2016 botched robbery earlier this week. Tay K's lawyer Jeff Kearney explained explained on Tuesday, July 16th, that his client had already accepted responsibility for the robbery through his plea. He believed the evidence wouldn't support his client, was aware Letharian Merritt was going to go in and intentionally kill for no reason, intentionally kill Ethan Walker. The punishment phase is reportedly underway. The Texas-bred teenager is also charged in a second capital murder case out of Bexar County and an aggravated robbery case in Tarrant County that occurred while he was on the run. So what do you guys think? How would you rule each case if you were the judge? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.